Adam Savage from Tested here in my cave with a special kind of one day build. Uh, it might feel like a normal one day build to you, but philosophically it's just a little bit different. Um, I like to think of the videos that I shoot on Tested as um, something different than a how to video. I, I kind of think of them as what happened videos. I don't want to pros pro proscribe exactly how something should get done. I just want to make something and hopefully the process of me iterating and getting to the end of the project is instructive in some way. But today's one day build, this is a how to. Uh, this is a build I stumbled across last week while just farting around in the shop and I thought, oh my God, this object that I've made is so freaking cool and so like evocative and nifty. I wanna show people how to make it, exactly how I made it. And it doesn't cost very much and it doesn't take much time and it doesn't take a lot of skill, but the result is awesome. So here we go. Now I'm working on a rickshaw for another build, something I've actually always wanted to build, a you know long-handled, two-wheeled uh, vehicle for a person to pull another person around. Anyway, I'm working on this rickshaw, and as part of this, uh, the first part is always to gather reference material. I gathered hundreds of images of rickshaws, and I noticed that the ones that were my favorites had lanterns on either side. So I bought a lantern on Amazon, and this is the basis for our one-day build. This is a... I think this is about 40 bucks. That is, there we go. It's a nice piece for 40 bucks. There we go, all right. A few months ago, I saw a bulb online that looked like it was on fire, and I thought, I have to have one of those. So I went to Amazon and I searched fire bulb, and lo, this is the first thing that showed up. This is the second part of our lantern build. Third part, a switch. A little solder, a soldering iron, and a power source. Wire strippers. Aluminum tape a AA battery holder, some black spray paint, matte black, and some matte clear paint. Two AA batteries. Okay. Right, right, right. Oh yeah, there's that. Gaffer tape, electrical tape, Unibits. I think, I think, I think I have everything I need on this table to, oh, right, I need a couple of pieces of wood, cut just so. I'm gonna do those first so that we are rolling into the build when it's time. First things first, we gotta place our batteries. Uh, I guess I should say, explain. We're going to make this lantern look like it's got a fire inside of it, a fire in its belly using this fire bulb. That's the overall project. Um, we gotta cut a hole in the lantern for putting our batteries and also being able to wire the flame bulb out through the central casing. So we do a little bit of this. This is called a step drill. It's one of the great things in the world. Uh, it's great for making holes in thin materials where normal drill bits would tend to wander and actually cause you lots of trouble. Now I'm also going to drill a hole in the back here for our switch. That's a terrible sound. Ah, 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 ah. Little tiny piece of hot steel hit me in the neck there. That hurts. Right, come on. Hole. 
Come on. There we go. Cool. So now we have a hole in the bottom for our batteries. We have a hole through into the central casting to run our wiring. What is next? Next. Oh, right. Okay. So how am I going to power this fire bulb, right? This is 120 volts AC. How am I going to power that? Well, off camera, what I did was I actually popped the bulb apart and then looked. Oh, wow. From those socket, Edison socket there, we have two wires. This is clearly the AC to DC converter. So without touching anything, I screwed this back into a socket and using a multimeter, I measured the voltage coming out here, which is the voltage that powers the fire bulb. And it turns out that voltage, three volts. Yeah. So, uh, coincidentally, that's exactly how much two AA batteries put out. So we're going to power this fire bulb. Instead of 120 volts of AC power, we're going to use three volts of DC power. I just love this idea that something you need to plug into the wall to make go can actually run on two tiny little batteries. That is freaking thrilling. We're going to make ourselves a little circuit right now. Yeah. Okay, so from the fire bulb, I'm going to have two leads coming out. From the switch, I also have another lead. This one's gonna screw on. little bit of hot glue will hold this on. Oh, you want to see it go? Right, I know. I'm jumping ahead of myself. Let's uh let's make the circuit go with three volts because it's kind of neat. So look at that. Three volts. Not 120. Three! <laughs> Seriously, um, I, I love the fact that they built such an efficient and gentle little circuit that runs on such low voltage. That That's really neat. Uh, the idea that you could run such a thing off two double A's. Have I already said in this video that it thrills me? It thrills me. Okay, let's get this all put together. Again, I'm only soldering my joints because I'm fancy. No, uh, I'm soldering these joints because that's what I have here in the shop, but you can buy uh, AA battery holders that have uh, wires coming already out of them. You can do this whole project without any soldering at all. You could at all, do it all with wire lug nuts, seriously. Uh, so just to double check my wiring, that is uh, positive to the positive, negative to the negative, just double checking and yep. We got fire, okay. We're also gonna use one of my new favorite things, Velcro, that is, how do you describe this? Velcro in which there's only one side. What? It's, 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 it's Velcro, but both sides are the, how do I say this? It's hermaphroditic Velcro. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly, I think, an engineering term. Uh, this Velcro is such that uh, when you uh, have two pieces of the same kind of Velcro, they stick to each other. Oh, this is great stuff. Uh, ben Eady, the prop master on Ghostbusters, the new Ghostbusters, told me about this stuff. All right, so we do that in there. And this goes inside our lamp. Okay, now, uh, switch. Okay, right, I need a thing coming off the switch.
I could go ahead and crimp lugs onto this, but I don't really need to. I can just wrap it around, screw it down. We will be supplying in the comments for this video an entire build list of all the things I'm using here. See, I told you, this is a how-to. This is a totally different kind of one-day build than we normally do. All right, so now let's get the switch going on here. I have no idea if on or off are actually still correct. Well, it is what it is. Oh, nice waterproof switch action. Okay, uh, oh, right. Um, pulling out the mirror, don't need this part. This guy goes in there, but I wanna prep this guy just a little bit first. I could use tacks, I could use any sort of thing to glue these pieces of wood together, but instead I'm just gonna use hot glue cause this is a quickie one day build and this is what you'd be doing if you worked in the theater department, you'd be doing it just like that. little bit of dressing to this that won't make sense to you until this build is almost at its completion point. But it will make sense. So here we go. We're gonna grab a little bit of gaffer tape. I like gaffer tape. I like gaffer tape because I can tear it in thin strips like this. And I will tear it into some thin strips and attach some of those like this. One there, and one here. And then we're gonna do that, yep. Now I think that that should be enough. We might have to do a little something like this. We will see. Okay, so I'm gonna feed this down. Now I made my saw cut a nice press fit into the little tray here. But you can also add a little bit of glue uh, I don't, yeah, obviously a little glue if it's going to get at all beaten up. Um, oh, right, 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 aluminum tape. What I found was when I completed this before, the mirror in the back just looked too clean. So I removed the mirror and put in just some aluminum uh, uh, plumber's tape. Uh, and it, it uh, changed the reflectivity of what the fire bulb was doing and made it look a little better, so. Now, how am I gonna hide the crimes of the edges of this? Well, I'm glad you asked because I'm gonna hide them very quickly. Like this. Ta-da! Edge is no longer a problem. Oh, right, now we need the battery action.
from the bulb to the battery, we connect the negative lead. Then, on both sides of that equation, we attach the switch leads. You know, basically interrupt the circuit with the switch. I've long been a fan of tiny wire nuts, by the way. I like how, oh, there we go. It's actually working. I can see it. Oh, let's just make sure, yep. Awesome. Great. Okay. Almost there. Open it that. Open it that. Oh yeah, campers, we are almost done here. We are almost done. Okay, so let's just do a function test. There we go, that's great. I like the, I like my little tape thing. It kind of looks like it's captured in sort of brassiere of some kind. Brassiere, I mean fire brassiere, not a brassiere. Um, brazier, I don't know, is it pronounced differently? Um, so, and I know it still doesn't look great, we're gonna take care of that forthwith. So, um, right, I want to, if it is a handle used by a train person, I want it to have some substance to it. So I'm gonna actually add some electrical tape here. Take this part. We're gonna put in a couple pieces of Velcro here. Then we're gonna do this, put this in here. Great, now that's sealed in. Now we're going to do some weathering. Oh, there's a fun aspect to these bulbs that you might not have realized, which is that if you turn them upside down, they burn from upside down. Oh, oh, that's really cool. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna fog the windows first and foremost. This is just a matte uh, color spray, uh, Krylon Clear. Um, I keep a stock of this in matte, semi-gloss, and clear, and it's a great way to hide lots of crimes in prop building. So now I'm gonna hit the edges. Yeah, yeah, I'm just, I'm just ever so slightly adding some grime. This takes a real touch, holding down the blade, the, holding down the, ooh, whoops. Yeah, I'm gonna be dirty. And there it is, look at that. With a little bit of matte spray, a little bit of black spray paint, just creating some dirt around this, and all of a sudden, the way in which that bulb didn't feel right, now it feels much more right. A little bit of extra spray paint around to kind of tie this thing together, and there you have it. The oldie train lantern in less than an hour. This, this is literally a first in a one day build cannon. Uh, we'll include a full list of all the things you need to put this together, but I for one, am super chuffed about this. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 one last coda. You are probably wondering, as I did, how long this will run on two AA batteries. After all, it was a light bulb you plugged into a socket. How long could it possibly run on AA batteries? Well, I will admit to you, I made one of these last week, and my wife and I liked the look of it so much, it's like been in our living room making it feel like we've got a fire going. And we've had it lit for five solid days, 
and it hasn't gone out yet. Now, I'm not kidding. Five solid days, it has been burning on two AA batteries. I'm like blown away by the efficiency of the circuit that that light bulb uses. That's crazy. Five days. And we haven't even reached the end of it. So uh, enjoy a nice long burn from this one day build.